Alright. Welcome back. Gonna get this fucking magazine done. Make out on couch. <gasps> mm, scandalous. Let's do some of that. I... Dude, it's gonna be hard to get to the couch. Yeah, there's a lot of obstacles in your path. I wanna see this. Are they just gonna glitch through? Come on. Oh my do we have to wait for them? Dude. <laughs> just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. In the meantime, I'm gonna look up uh, Playboy Mansion fanfiction. Oh, dude, this is better than I could have hoped. Instead of Sonic, it's fucking Harry Potter. What? Harry Potter and the Playboy Mansion. Uh, Harry Potter and the Playboy Mansion by Lilium Love. Uh, it's pretty short. Uh, Lakota was <gasps> furious. Oh. What? She just... Oh, what the fuck? I didn't ask her to do that. She just took it off. For no reason. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna have to keep a fucking eagle I eye out. out. I'm gonna still have to censor, so just leave it. It's whatever. That's not even the girl I was gonna make out with. What the fuck? That's not the girl I was making out with. Do you think her AI decided to sit down before you guys got over there? So, like, your AI is confused because she got there first? Yeah. So it's just kind of waiting. A bitch move. Oh my god. Lakota was furious when she realized that Nikki had given her the address for a drag queen bar instead of a restaurant. What? Well, Harry said, it's not the date we imagined, but we could perhaps still have some fun still. I don't know, Lakota started. But Harry grabbed her hand and dragged her inside. She was horror-stricken as she saw some men shaking their butts on stage in short skirts and fishnets. Holy shit, Harry cried. I know one of those guys. Um, what the hell? Lakota said she started to question Harry's sexuality. Harry kept dragging her closer and closer to the stage. She tried to pull away, but he had a firm grip on her. Voldemort, he cried. Stop flouncing around and jewel me. One of the men jumped off the stage and then Rakota realized that he didn't have a nose. Holy crap, it really is Voldemort. I thought I killed, Harry growled. You did, but somehow I came back. I no longer have any interest in conquering the world. I'm just interested in show business. Voldemort waggled his fingers around, attempting jazz hands. What? <laughs> Why why do we always have to end up watching Harry Potter porn? <laughs> no, dude, that's a deep cut. We can't. No one's going to get that. <laughs> why? Cuz it's a different channel. So? There's they're not going to know about the drunk arts. So. Regardless, we still always end up fucking reading Harry Potter porn or watching it or doing anything with Harry Potter. Guys, go watch the Harry Potter porno. Uh, the video wherever on it Pornhub. is on Pornhub, yes. Um, Expelli on honest, he says on the cum shot, and he turns the woman into a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> you should just cut. You should find that video and edit it in. You know what? I will, but I'm not gonna do it right now. No. I'm gonna do it right now. Ha ha! There it is. There's there's the cum part. That's pretty cool. I had to end the party. Do you think I can just put in the porno? But like... As long as you just edit out the actual shit. Yeah. Because it's all like story and then it's sex and then... Dude's covered and then in cum. that's when it gets weird. That's when it uh, just gets weird. Where's, where are all my people? I, you guys should go watch that whole porno. It's pretty... It's pretty fucking great. Okay, I got an essay. Yeah. I need 
Everything else. Cover shot, centerfold, pictorial, interview, and article. Uh, oh, this is weird. What? Are you working? No, I'm looking at photos. Okay. That's it. Just look at photos. Okay. Um, here's a Hugh Hafner story. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is from Hef's ex-girlfriend Kendra Wilkinson. Uh, one of the girls asked me if I wanted to go upstairs to Hef's room. It seemed like every other girl was going, and if I didn't, it would be weird. One by one, each girl hopped on Hef and had sex with him for about a minute. I studied their every move, then it was my turn. It was very weird. I wasn't thinking about how much older Hef was. All the body parts worked the same. I wanted to be there. Um, Hef just lies there with his Viagra erection. <laughs> it's just a fake erection and each girl gets on top of him for two minutes while the girls in the background try to keep him excited. They yell things like, Fuck her daddy, fuck her dad daddy. There's a lot of cheerleading going on. This main girl, the main girlfriend wipes off his penis. She's the girl who actually shares the bed with him. She sleeps there all night. She's around 22. Uses all, he uses all the same girls. She's been there for three years now. When it first gets, when it first gets started, his main girlfriend gives him oral. Then she has sex with him. She's the first to go because it's, that's not safest for her. No protection and no testing. He doesn't care. Wow. That's that's pretty fucked. If she's 22 and she's been there for two years, so she was 19. Is that the math? Right? 20, 21, 22, yeah. And then the, the fucking article says, Wow, what a goddamn legend. Rest in peace, Hef. I don't understand... What I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Were you even listening? Yeah, no. <laughs> I heard a lot of Steve. I heard the Viagra erection and two two minutes each girl, whatever. Just go to the extras menu off the pause menu. The fuck? I'm just gonna read some facts about Hugh Hefner. Cause um it's the same article. He paid a hundred dollars a year to live in the mansion, and then he paid one million a year for one year. Uh he never owned the mansion, it technically belonged to Playboy Enterprises, which leased it to him for a hundred dollars a year. But in 2016, the estate's next door neighbor bought it for $100 million, but Hefner didn't want to move, so he paid $1 million a year to stay there. What? Well, it only stayed there for one year. He waited for marriage before having sex, but his first wife cheated on him. He saved himself for his wife after they had sex when she was 22. But she revealed that she had cheated on him before the wedding while he was serving in the army. Eesh. They stayed together for 10 years and had two Wait, kids. Wait, Hef was in the army? Yes. Wow. Stayed together for 10 years and had two children before he died. Ew. He said he slept with more than 1,000 women. They had kids. They sure did. Ew. What are they up to? I don't know. <laughs> Hefner made cartoons while serving in the army during World War II. I should have stuck to that. Maybe then I would be like, yeah, he's, he's a pretty cool dude. But no. His colleague was the future Popeye cartoonist. Uh, hi, Wow. 
That's cool. Apparently, he wasn't a fan of his drawings and suggested he look for other jobs after the war. Oh. <laughs> In that case. He went off to go be an old pervert. Oh. On to the stretch. I didn't even know she was next to me. My back is itchy. I was trying to scratch it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do the bear thing. I'm like... Rub my back on the couch. Yeah. That's still itchy. He's buried next to Marilyn Monroe. Yikes. He holds the world record for scrapbooking. What? He was inscribed in the record books in 2011 as having the largest <laughs> personal scrapbooking collection in the world. How... Oh, Jackie farted. <laughs> Jackie did it. <laughs> I smell it. Where's your collar? Oh, oh, God. Oh, fuck. That actually smells horrible. Oh, no. Jackie. Oh, God. Uh. I am not impressed, ma'am. <laughs> he originally wanted to call Playboy Stag Party. <laughs> What? Yeah, I don't know about that. Mm. Alright, the rest of these are like boring as fuck. I know what his kids are up to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Curious about that. I thought I could take pictures of this bitch, but apparently I can't. Well, She's actually just useless. Yeah, why is she there then? I don't understand what's the point in hiring bunnies. Busta Barnes. His four kids. Alright, I'm gonna hire Jesse Watson because I, I had an opportunity to hire a better journalist and I didn't have enough money to do so, but I mean, this is it. This is all I can get right now. He dislikes tennis. <laughs> <laughs> tennis. So I, I guess tennis. that's not good. This one doesn't even have any dislikes, which is good because I need him to write about everything that there is. But Jesse Watson has more uh, higher rating. <laughs> and he's a Leo, which I can get along with a Leo. <laughs> I guess <laughs> if that's <laughs> so if that's what that that's really for. How it goes? <laughs> I don't know, Hefsa and, and Aries, he might like Gemini more. <laughs> One of Hugh Hefner's sons, Coopy, Cooper Bradford Hefner, 29 years old, um, also served time in the military for the Air Force. Um, cool. Was working at Playboy in college, but left the company due to disagreements with the CEO about the direction the company was taking. So he began editing, writing, and publishing, um, uh, fucking shit that was about politics and philosophy and culture. He launched the media startup company Hop, focused on content and social events for millennials. He eventually returned to Playboys, was named Chief Creative Officer of the company in July 2016. And he eventually stepped down. Um. Hey Hef, Jenny here. We just got a call from Jack Hammer, the lead singer of the rock stars. He and his twin girlfriends have heard a thing or two about the mansion and are dying to see it. They should be here any minute. That's Jenny Lewis, Hef. She's the director of guest relations here at the mansion. She'll help you with everything from party invitations to guest selection. <laughs> okay, and uh, we will uh, learn more about Hugh Hefner's I just children. Hired and, a bunch of people and Jack Hammer on the next episode. Yay!